Let's go. And we will see. Happy New Year 2024. You made it, I made it, we made it together. Glory be to the name of the real majesty, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who has a name that is above every other name, the one at whose name all knees bow, all tongues confess that he is Lord. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Welcome to 2024, and this is your life boy today, here with you again in the year 2024. Your life boy today is coming to you to tell you who is the real majesty. Who is the real majesty? The real majesty is the topic, and that majesty is the one that we look up to that for the rest of this year is going to be a glorious year for you and for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Our reading will be from Psalm 8. Not too long, not too short, just apt to determine the real majesty. Are you set? Let's go now. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. Thou whose glory above the heavens is chanted, by the mouths of babes and infants, thou hast founded a bulwark because of thine foes, to steal the enemy and the avenger. When I look at thy heavens, the works of thy hands, the moon and the stars which thou hast established, what is man? that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man, that thou dost care for him. Yet thou hast made him little less than God, and dost crown him with glory and honor. Thou hast given him dominion over the works of thine hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the seas, whatever passes along the path of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. This is a psalm to the choir master according to Moth Labis, a psalm of David. Thanks be to God. Now, the real majesty is the one who makes other kings. And of recent, there was this situation of a newly crowned king of a community not too far from mine and because he was originally ordained a pastor and of course you know a pastor is a pastor is a pastor whether it's a king or governor or whatever else and so he knelt to thank god and there was of course another pastor there who also blessed him and then 
this became an issue of debate in the past fortnight or so. And people are wondering, why would somebody who was crowned a king of a community kneel and one man of God would anoint him? I even tried to put something on some platforms where I saw people saying, oh, Queen Elizabeth will never do this. And I saw a picture of Queen Elizabeth and her husband when they were taking Holy Communion and knelt to take it before the priest. And some argued, oh, that was a long time ago. And then it just occurred to me, we need to really determine who is the real majesty. I have seen real kings of men that understand who the real majesty is, that when you call them in my native Yoruba language, you say Kabiesi, that is the one who cannot be questioned. Smart ones amongst them will say Kabiesi Olodumari, that is the only one that cannot be questioned is the king of kings and not us. Have kings not been removed by mere governors of states? So what are you talking about somebody being king of a community and not recognizing that God is supreme and is the real majesty? And let me tell you, when you see a king of men kneel at an altar, he's not kneeling before the man of God, he's kneeling before the God of the man, the God of the man of God. And the anointing can only be from God. God is the real majesty. And perhaps you need to be reminded that there was one king called Nebuchadnezzar. Go and check out his story in the book of Daniel in chapter 4. And because he would not recognize the real majesty as the one who gave him dominion, he, turned, he was turned into a beast. And for a season, he ate with animals until the real majesty restored him. Perhaps you have also not read of one other king many years after that of Nebuchadnezzar, hundreds of years after, perhaps almost a thousand years after, and that story you'll find in Acts chapter 12. That king was Herod. He spoke beautifully and people applauded him and he did not return the glory to God. That very moment, he was eaten up by worms, who is the real majesty. The real majesty is the king of kings, is the one that can sustain you this, this year, is the one that your allegiance should be all through this year, is the one that can promote you, is the one that can keep you alive, is the one that can kill you, is the one that can allow you to just die like a chicken, is the one that can keep you alive and keep you healthy. I would like to invite you, if you yet do not have a relationship with that real majesty, to come give your life right now. And if you have a relationship already, continue to maintain that relationship, sustain that relationship, because the real majesty is able to keep you. If you never had a relationship with the real majesty, you are never a Christian, and you now want to give your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you. Just bow your heart, bow your head, and say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, this first day of the new year, I come to you. I want to bow to you as the real majesty. I know I've been a sinner. I could have been puffed up in my ways. I say, Father, forgive me. As I yield my life to you today, I say, accept me as one of yours, that I may reign with you, the real majesty in glory. I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome to the fold of those who have a good relationship with the real majesty. You need to find a Bible-believing church so that you can grow in the faith this new year, 2024. So I'm inviting you, come join us in the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension, Oshobo. For now, we worship every Sunday, 9 o'clock in the morning, and every Tuesday, 5 o'clock in the late, late afternoon, in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Oyiko and Bukiomibo Drive, Oroki Estate Extension in Oshobo. But very soon, we hope to have our own chapel, proper church building to make obeisance to the real majesty, to worship at his feet, to learn 
at his feet, to be inspired by the Holy Spirit that he sends to minister to us. Partner with us this year. You can see the bank account details on the screen. And as you do that, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. And as you go this first day of the first month, of the first week of the year 2024, say this prayer as the Lord, I come to you as the real majesty. And as I go out today, I recognize you and I pray that all through today and the rest of this year, you will lead me and inspire me as the real majesty. And I will reign in glory with you. I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So go out today. Walk with the real majesty and it will be well with you. God bless you richly in the year 2024. Happy New Year.